You guys, I made three videos last night and uh, it only recorded three minutes. It was weird. It was like, I don't know, the shuttle loves to play with my electronics and try and get me irritated so that I'll get out of my frequency. I just laughed and was like, I'll be done tomorrow. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Denzo Moss, Breaking In, Paths Free, he's so great. He's so great. So Denzo, when I'm, when I'm saying this, please know I'm not talking about you, okay? But how many of y'all know that, uh, <laughs> a narcissist's greatest game, this is their greatest game. Oh, I forgot to turn these lights on. Hold on, let me see. Oh, that brings a lot of light to the picture, don't it? Let me turn this one on too. Yeah, that's better. Anyways, one of the narcissist's greatest games is to play reverse psychology and say that you're a narcissist. Okay, that's the number one thing that they love to do. So watch out for that. Okay. Ooh, that's right in my eyes. I'm gonna turn it this way so it's not right in my eyes. Um, I'll give y'all an example. I had a friend, we'll, we'll call her an associate because uh, friends, uh, you know, my, I keep my circle small. But I had an associate one time, she had a boyfriend, and I mean, they beat up on each other, but I would much more say that, you know, he hurt her than the other way around. She would just retaliate because she was tired of getting beat up on. Does that make sense? That's what most abusers do. They pick at you and pick at you and pick at you until you blow up and then you fight back and then they call you an abuser and it's just this vicious cycle right but anyways um <clears throat> he would constantly call her a narcissist and as she was just a broken empath there's a huge difference okay she just was an unhealed empath but I mean he was constantly calling her a narcissist when I could smell a mile away that he was the one I mean he would mind fuck her all the time like he would just play with her head like it was so great one time he ran her over with a car like it was bad okay but yeah so y'all be looking for that game because the shadow needs to get a new bag <laughs> calling people narcissists out here that are empaths that's hilarious and and they think that they're gonna get the other empaths to believe them they're so dumb like hello we already know that bag. We done healed. We done moved on from that. Reverse psychology doesn't work on us. Hello. Try again. <laughs> okay, let's get into this, Libra Scorpio. I did make your video last night, but um, like I said, electric crap. Cleansing the decks of any and all negative energy. Only beings with the purest widest lot. May seal this reading and give me a seal this reading. Seal this reading now in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. Oh, and so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore, let it be done. Yeah, and the narcissist's whole job is to try and take you out or to make you feel like you're less than they are. And what's hilarious is they know. They know. Your frequency is above theirs. They know it. <laughs> They just don't want you to believe it. So don't ever fall for that crap. It's so stupid. They're so lame. They make themselves look like idiots every time they get on the camera. Especially to your empath friends. <laughs> or, you know, if you're in real life. If they're in real life. But um, anyways, let's find out, Libra Scorpio. What is your person thinking about you in their heart for you and plan to do about it? So last night the reading was about uh, a Scorpio who did magic on you to try and cross your free will in order for you to talk to them and how you completely turn the tables on them and now they're obsessed. So we'll see if it's a similar theme or if it's something new today. And I also read chapter 11 out of Narnia and it... Uh, didn't record so gonna do it again it's a good chapter
You guys, Abba just blows me away with how much he blesses me. Like, in my daily, everyday life, like, I'm just like... When people read my book, you know, they're not going to be able to just say God doesn't exist. <laughs> they're not. I'm going to make them a believer. I'm a believer. I'm telling you I really believe. Look, um, this same card came out last night. So, yeah, they're doing moon magic, trying to... Uh, get you to talk to them or they did at first yep they're still doing it and they're so jealous they're so jealous if you're talking to somebody new oh my god it makes this person crazy they are losing their shiznit over this okay because you're a master manifester and you probably told them uh look you will be replaced like abba will bring me something better if you don't you know change because the ways that you're doing are not Abba's ways. Abba's ways are higher, right? And this person, you know, act, was all in their ego, acted like they were the spiritual champion, that they knew more than you, that they were going to do whatever the hell they wanted to do, and that they were going to win. Well, they lost, big time. They lost you. Forever. Like, it's over. They're never going to get you back. But they're still trying. Yeah, look at this. Justice coming right out, baby. Libra, there you are, coming out in your own reading. Um, this person has received major karma. And part of their karma is watching everything you told them come to pass, come to pass. Like, it blows their mind. It literally blows their mind. Here, we'll just put this here. And we'll clarify these. <sighs> You probably told them that you knew they were involved in shadow work and that they better stop because not shadow work in a dark arts you know the dark magic black magic and um, that they better stop and they didn't yeah they didn't listen to you they were a rebel right they thought that they knew better they knew more they didn't think that you were who you said you were you know they were jealous of your gifts they tried to drain your energy. They consistently try to drain. They still try to drain your energy. Okay. Yeah. They're, <laughs> they want to fight this new person. Like, this person is so jealous. If you're talking to a new person, this person is so jealous. They're so jealous. I mean, I can't even tell you how jealous they are. But this could also mean that they are fighting trying to do dark arts too okay they may have even made a video about it you didn't watch the video you just read the title because <laughs> it came across your feed right and then you put not interested because this person lost you like they're never going to get another chance like you know it's you're not one to hand out golden seeds to everybody you hand them out where they're going to grow right that's Kind of has to do with don't cast your pearls to swine first. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be painful for this person to watch, but that's their karma. They're painfully going to have to watch everything slowly unfold for you that they tried to steal from you. Because <laughs> success is your middle name. Okay. What's in their heart for the um, for you? Yeah, this person is in love with you, okay? So what they did was they tried to, to do love spells to try and get you to talk to them, give them attention. You know, they wanted you to be the emperor and then be the empress. In other words, the empress sits and y'all put the energy where it goes, okay? Divine masculine, divine feminine. It Roles can be very switched, right? Um, you figure out where you are in the story. But they wanted you so an empress attracts an emperor conquers right it is in a in, in, in an emperor's divine nature to chase give chase and conquer to hunt that is in their dna 
okay? So when an emperor sits back and tries to be an empress, it doesn't work out very well for him. I mean, it has all the times before until they came across an actual divine being who saw right away and could smell their ego and pride a mile away and said, nope, we ain't doing that. So now this person is completely obsessed <clears throat> with you. It all backfired. So now they're completely, I mean, they, I mean, they cannot not think about you. Okay. And, um, they cannot not watch you or your person. They have to, it's part of their karma. Okay. Because of what they did to you in the dark. All right. And this person is probably still doing love spells to try and stop you or your person, okay? I don't care what anybody says. Love spells are not harmless. Love, love anything that crosses free will and manipulates another person. If God doesn't do that, I don't do that. They, they cause harm. And um, who wants to force someone to be with you that doesn't really want to be with you anyway? That's not real love. That's wearing a mask. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, um, this person wants a new beginning. Okay. They probably masturbate to you often, which is disgusting. And what they don't know is when they're doing it, <laughs> that's karma, right? And they do sex magic, too, on you. And, uh, yeah, the watchers are sitting right there watching them. Because if you're for spirit out, you get the same protection I do, baby. 100. Okay? So, this person's hands are tied. They are forced. Okay? They're forced to watch this play out. And it's driving them batshit crazy. I can feel it. Yeah, this is what they feel like on the inside. Because they know you were right. They know you weren't trying to do anything other than uplift this person and help them. You were sent. You were sent to help them. And they threw you in the trash. They thought they knew better. I'm telling you, they're in love with you. They really are in love with you. Okay? But they can never have you. They can, the opportunity has passed. You guys, yes, um, you can learn and grow and, um, you know, but some opportunities only come once in a lifetime and you can lose them. And this person lost theirs, okay? And they're desperately trying to get you back. They're desperately trying to draw your attention. You know, they see you going on this new adventure with this new person who is being initiated into the Rainbow Warrior Prophecy. Like, they see it. And they're freaking losing their shit. They're losing their shit. Yeah, they know God's with you. They know it. Clarify the nothingness card, please. Not even a question. Yeah, they're going to feel this way for a long time. Because they missed out on the best thing that could have ever happened to them. It literally was a gift wrapped up as a blessing from God and this person said I don't want that or I'm gonna get it my way right I'm not gonna do what you say because you don't know this person is so jealous five of swords so so jealous um, they still plan on doing magic they're saying that they're not doing magic but they are see the uh, writing on the hands they want to drain you of your energy. They want to drain your person. They want your person to be distracted with other people, especially people from their past. If someone from your new person's past has come into their life, this person wants, this person wants your person to fall for the past or you, right? They, they want to just fuck up, Ten of Swords, anything that they can, okay? So they're going to bring distraction. They're going to try and bring distractions. Let's put it like that. Try. <laughs> uh, they're so jealous. They're so jealous. This person is so jealous. Rage. I'm feeling rage. 
I'm also feeling a lot of guilt. I'm surprised the Five of Cups hasn't come out because this person does know that what they're doing is wrong. Okay? They do. Now. It's a day late and a dollar short. Look, Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck, bro. What was I just saying? Yeah, they know they lost their Empress because they did not walk in integrity. Okay? They did not tell the truth. They were doing things in the dark, wearing a mask, pretending they weren't, and you saw straight through all that. All of it. A mile away, you could sniff it. Clarify the ten of swords, please. Yeah, it hurts them that you won't give them another opportunity. Okay, they want you to compromise. They want you to give them time. They want you to, you know, they want you to come back around. This is what they want. Don't do it. Only do what Abba wants. And Abba says the door is shut on this person. They did too much in the dark. Yeah, I told you this person felt like they were going crazy. This is what they feel like, bro. They know they fucked up. And it's their karma. Yeah, they probably tried to project many, many times on you that you were their twin flame. And then when that didn't work, they tried to project that you were a narcissist. And then when that didn't work, they tried to project that you were the love of their life. And then when that didn't work, they tried to project that you were their soulmate. And then when that didn't work, they tried to project that you were, you know, an evil witch doing witchcraft, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. When actually, in all reality, that was them. If it was a male, he was a warlock. Okay. This, also, this person also tries to uh, attack your chakras and um, I forget what what kind of magic it's called because I don't deal with that crap I don't I don't I don't do any sh anything dark I don't I'm way too busy vibrating at peace right but it's something where they try and project onto you that you're, they're your twin flame like they try to make you see synchronicities they try to um, have you hear their voice in your head and whatever now that does happen in real life when they're when it's divinely guided by God so you have to have real discernment okay that's that's the difficult part right is discerning what's from god and what's not but it's really pretty easy all you got to do people can't they're defined by their fruit it's so easy honestly they'll, they'll give away their fruit if they have rotten fruit it's going to show you'll see it you'll see the ego you'll see the pride you'll see their lack of love their lack of joy their lack of patience their lack of peace you'll see the jealousy Um, their lack of generosity, their lack of goodness, their lack of self-control. Okay? And when you see that, that's when you know. This person is no good for you. Okay? They got a lot of growing up to do. This person is a child. They are a child in the spirit realm. Yeah, and now they feel like in, they're left out in the cold. You know, you're not giving them any time, and this really weighs them down. Okay? Yeah, look, they're sad. They're brokenhearted. They know they fucked up. Just period. Let's get some confirmation for you, sweetheart. I'm so sorry you went through this. People are so dumb. If, people, if men could just get some steel cojones, right, and be men like they're supposed to be, you women would not have to deal with any of this crap. But stay on the narrow path, baby, because Abba's got somebody good for you. I can promise you that. You keep doing right because it's right because it's right. And you will reap what you sow. Just like this person did wrong. 
They knew it was wrong and they continued to do wrong and now they're reaping what they sow. Okay? Some people never learn the lesson. That's on them. You learn the lesson. You keep going. Okay? What advice for my Libra Scorpios, please? Everything I've told you is the truth. Stand in your truth. Remain in your truth. Okay? Because your truth is your power. And truth comes from God. And all the glory goes to Abba, baby. Love you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Your girl be back, God willing.